Hello nerds, welcome back to another video, Gabriella here. Today is a good day and it's going to get even better because we've got another fairy loot box to open. So very excited. Um, and without further ado, let's just get into the nitty gritty. Very excited for this box because this month's box has a blanket. So very excited for that. I did see a spoiler for what the book looks like. I think it's outstanding. So let's just get into it. But first, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you can be notified of every new video and so you can join the nerd gang and have your life filled with amazing bookish content. Uh, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first item is right on top and it is the aforementioned blanket. And it is a Kingdom of the Wicked uh, ca bl candle blanket. Although, whoa, that is soft. I kind of want to open this now, but at the same time, I'm kind of debating because it kind of looks good this way. And I know I'm not going to have it out just yet. Um, so yeah, it's going to stay bundled up like this. I will insert a picture beside of the blanket. Um, but it is very soft. So I appreciate that. Um, and I do love the purple moment. Next, we have Addy trinket tray. Um, so I'm assuming it's uh, this invisible life i keep saying the secret life because the secret life of the american teenager um but it's the invisible life of Addie larue which i actually own it's standing right there um i haven't read it yet but i will be reading it soon um and the fact that i own a book that the object is about makes it a bit better but anyways let us see oh that is actually beautiful <gasps> that is outstanding so that is the trinket tray with what i'm assuming is adi uh, on it um with a beautiful constellation we've got a nice gold moment i love a dark <laughs> i was gonna say i love a dark trinket moment um but i don't own anything like that but yeah it's actually really cute love that uh, but yeah it's basically a glorified mini plate so there's that uh now let us see i have also heard that apparently there is an object that was supposed to be part of the box that wasn't made on time that will be shipped in the next box so, because the box, uh, not gonna lie, looks a little empty. Um, especially since I feel like the blanket took so much space um, in that. But, oh, Once Upon a Broken Heart character cards. I'm excited. <gasps> no way. That looks outstanding. No, they look great. Oh, they look great. No, 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 no. That is... Those are stunning. Wow. And honestly, nothing is like fan art to me. Um, So here, you get to see these are the characters. Obviously, don't know their names yet. I'm just going to assume, based on the everything about her, that this is the main character. Um, But anyways, these look amazing. Look at the foil on that. Like, that is fantastic. And they all look amazing, like the characters, I mean. But the cards too, but you know. You know, you know. Um, there's a lot of characters there. Like, I don't know how many characters there are in this book. Um, but yeah. Also, this one kind of looks like Adam Driver. Is that just me? He gives me Adam Driver vibes. Um, also, the back of the cards, they're all the same. They look like some sort of... I don't even know how to explain that. Like, a portal? Like, it looks like sort of the kind of window you would see in a church. But as a portal and there's like smoke coming through so that's really exciting they that looks outstanding actually um and it comes in this little envelope and uh that looks actually really cool um and really fun so happy about that um ooh, this i'm excited because that's another book that i own um and it is from Laura, <laughs> from Laura, which is also right up here, which I haven't read yet, um, but it is a keychain, and it looks like a feather, which I'm assuming means something. 
and it says bind your fate to mine um, you can't really see what's written on it it's hard to tell um also the keychain will stop moving but yeah it's uh, it has a gold moment so yeah once i read lore uh whatever that is i will um definitely uh have that keychain somewhere on a key or something we've got a beautiful art of the book of the month um i already know what the book of the month is not only because i spilled myself but also because like fair loot is <laughs> like i don't think they i feel like like i know they say they try to like keep it a secret and all that but like the <laughs> synopsis they give to the books are just like straight up the synopsis you can find on goodreads so if you know anything about the books that are always upcoming which i do because i do like most anticipated releases of like the season books so i know the <laughs> like the biggest books you know that are coming out so when they announce a book i'm just like yeah i know what this one is i know what this one is um it was the same last month i knew exactly what it was oh this is um a little like art card for we said the dark on fire um i recognized it just from the font and the colors but it says it's a viper nest see that you have the strongest venom um said the dark on fire is actually a book i've actually really wanted to read because uh it's not good um, but uh uh i know nothing else about it uh about except that but that's that's enough for me now we have the collectible items i think um which are the tarot cards we have the six and the five of pentacles um and i'm pretty sure these are the characters from feasts of prey which was one of the books from last month um so that's also really fun because i think that's funny of the objects like all the books are either on my tbr or I already own so that's really cool um and now let's finally get to the book i'm really excited because i've seen it i know where the book is i'm just so excited to own it um i also love how it always comes in this pouch we love to see it um, but isn't that outstanding? So of course it is Once Upon a Broken Heart, hence why we got the character cards. Uh, boy, that is beautiful. So this is a play on the UK cover. Um, and I have to say, I preferred the US cover over the UK cover, insert US cover here, but, <laughs> um, I really love this pink moment for the UK cover, so I'm actually really happy. In the back it says, how far would you go for happy, happily ever after? So love that for me, but also the best part. Yeah, this is a pink sprayed edges, but no, it gets even better. <gasps> Stenciled edges on top of sprayed edges. I mean, ah! so we got arrows, we got wolves, and we got... A broken heart obviously um <laughs> so good uh this is my first book with stenciled edges ever so this is super exciting for me um this is like it's a whole thing uh we've also got men oh man oh man Look at that, my friends. Look at it. Appreciate it. The Ballad of the Archer and the Fox. So I'm assuming y'all understand what that means once I read the book. But, mmm. 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 <laughs> that looks so beautiful. <laughs> that looks so beautiful. You see, this is why I am willing to pay for fairly. Like, this is why. Where else are you going to get that? But then, boom. Spine. The Ballad of the Archer and the Fox, yes. And then, boom, the back. A beautiful arrow. Outstanding! Yeah. Oh, gosh. And of course, as always, it is a fairy loot. So there is uh, art at the end pages. This is beautiful. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure this is the main character. Hence, winning my theory. Um, no. Watch me change my TBR so I can add this book in. Um, and then here we've got some more character art here. Love that. The characters look stunning. I'm really excited to get to meet them, honestly. Like, 
I love fan art. I think it's beautiful, but I usually only feel like a connection to the drawing, like to the fan art once I know the character. But this is one of the first ones where I'm seeing the characters and I'm like, I got to know you. Let's be best friends. I'm sure there's some of these characters that I'm not going to like because I feel like one of them has to be a bad guy, but oh gosh, that is so beautiful. And this should be signed as well. Um, so let us see. Oh. It is, it, it is, and it is stamped as well. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh. oh my God. It's just, oh, we've got a map, you guys. Oh, this book looks so outstanding. I mean, honestly, I was not disappointed, but I was a little underwhelmed. With the book last month but considering we got two books i was happy and yeah it was stencil age edges it looks beautiful um but this this is it this this encompasses everything i ever thought about when i was like let's give some of my money away to fairly you know what i mean like this is why i did that and you see this is why i make the best decisions this is proof I'm just an incredible decision maker. Um, so yeah, maybe I should make everyone's decisions from now on. Oh gosh, I'm so in love. I'm so in love. I mean, look at that. Look at it. Oh gosh. I don't even know. Like I want to display this on my bookshelf, but it's like, I don't even know. Do I want to do stencil edges first? Do I want to do naked, which I don't usually do. But at the same time, I don't hate the cover. Of the hardcover, but I prefer the naked. So, naked and stencil. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, Fairloot always does uh, in the cover. Uh, they do uh, oh, fan art. Oh. Ah, excuse me. That looks beautiful. That looks outstanding. Um, should I flip it and make that the cover? Mm -mm -mm. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for this box, actually. Um, so yeah, I can understand, like, object-wise. Oh, wait. Can't forget what's in the bag as well with the book. Can't forget that, can we? Um, but yeah, we've got the fairy scoop, fairy scoop, which is, uh, off, always has an author interview and, uh, also has next month theme. Um, I already know which book it's going to be, uh, literally just based on the image I already knew. Um, but then I read the synopsis and I was like, yeah, I know. And then we got the letter from, um, the authors and then we've got a character card. I think that is the primary love interest. Uh, also, forgot to mention, synopsis of Once Upon a Broken Heart. Basically, this girl does a deal, not with the devil, but with some mischievous form, which I'm assuming is this guy. Because she wants to basically stop the wedding of the man that she loves, um, who doesn't love her back anymore. Um, but uh, she makes a promise to this, well, she has to promise this thing to this guy, which is three kisses. Three kisses that would change her. Isn't that all we need? Isn't that all we need? I mean, this is going to be a great book, and now I want to read it right now. Mm -hmm. We will see. We will see. Did I just post my November TBR? Yes. What, am I excited about my plans for my November TBR? Yes. Um, let's, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where we end up. I guess watch my wrap-up. This is an invitation to all of you. Put the little bell icon and uh, stay tuned for my November wrap up and see if I succumbed to my own internal pressure of reading What's Upon a Broken Heart. Oh gosh. It's so beautiful. I'm just looking at it. It's just outstanding. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I love you all so much. If you watch all the way to the end, thank you so much. Um, I feel like the emoji of the day should be fairly obvious to you all, but it will be a broken heart. 
right? A nice pink broken heart. Let's go in the comments. And it's funny because it's a broken heart about a book about being broken hearted and a, with the words broken heart in it. But nothing has me, <laughs> me less broken hearted. Anyways, um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. As always, all my social medias are linked down below. Uh, as well as ways to support this channel. My Kofi, my book outlet, and my two buddy referral codes are down below. Uh, my social medias are always at Gabby's pages on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. I mean, you're already here. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> as well as my website, gabbyspages.com, so you can stay up to date on all things me and all things books. And so you can be filled with bookish content all week long. Um, but thank you guys so much. I love you all and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.